What is going on, Turfy? Good morning on this wonderful Saturday. Sorry this came a little bit late. <laughs> Trying to get these things out as much as I can on a weekly basis, if possible. Let's jump into it. Looking at week one, we had myself going down to Brett Farley, which I think just happened to end up be the matchup of the week. Both fairly high scoring, but Farley was able to get the victory. Josh Allen had one of the worst games. I can't not play him. Even going into overtime, wasn't able to secure the W. Floated around that 158 to 100. 60 point range all night. It was absolutely just excruciating to have to watch that. Good job, Farley. And then we had Michael versus John. Um, really, the, the separator on this one was the Dallas defense. That Dallas defense was ridiculous. Nice! And then we had our biggest blowout of the week. Unfortunately, the luck of Bill just continues to dwindle. David, obviously, with Tyreek Hill leading the pack, but a very strong output from all those receivers that we gave him crap about taking early on. Looks to be that that strategy, at least as far as week one goes, is working out for him. And then last we had Chris Brown versus Harlan. Hurts didn't have the greatest day against New England. They were pretty stout. He had Austin Eckler, just enough points across the board. Smith coming through. Good job, David Harlan. Let's take a look at the transactions that went down with Michael dropping $215 over 90% of his fab. He will be working with $10 for the rest of the season, including the playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs hopefully that works out for you he's already questionable and may not play this week what is taking someone from behind no shh michael listen jumping into this first matchup all right we've already started this week obviously we had thursday night play um so very strong showing from hertz very uh lucky showing uh from addison uh, philadelphia only with 11 points so hopefully if i can bring a better defense uh that'll help me out but i need josh allen to be josh allen i need anthony richardson to be anthony richardson to have a chance here hopefully they'll get back to fields as bread and butter but if he gets injured running i mean he's gonna get he's he's gonna take more sacks he's gonna run he's gonna get tackled I just feel like he is an injury waiting to happen. Uh, you could say the same about Richardson, probably. Jalen Waddle will have a better week this week. I don't think it's going to be Tyreek every single week like that. Going up against New England, hopefully they're looking to take Tyreek away. T. Higgins should have a good bounce back week. Um, he is playing both Tyler Algier and B. John Robinson. So, um interesting strategy. I think I'm going to take myself in this one as the underdog. I have to still pick up a defense if they would ever rule out Deontay Johnson, please. All right, and then moving on to Bill versus Brett. Lamar Jackson hopefully should have a bounce back week. Jefferson came out, obviously had another great day. They should hopefully bounce back this week as well. Barkley should have a better day against Arizona though. Henry against the Chargers. Uh, that should be a smash play, honestly. Brett just has the stronger roster at this point. Harlan versus John. John, very strong. He's now the favorite uh, coming into this after the 41.56 performance from Kirk Cousins. I think he likes that. I think Devontae could have a sneaky good week. Against the Jets, CeeDee Lamb could struggle Jumping down, Alexander Madison. Whew, this poor guy. Rough on the field. Rough in the DMs. I don't think that pick is going to work out so well. John is the winner. Finally, to the matchup of the week. Mahomes against Prescott and Joe Burrow against Jared Goff. Burrow needs to bounce back. If he bounces back, then obviously the, the quarterback play goes to, to Michael. Um, I definitely give the wide receivers, and probably every week, the wide receivers to David Counselor. It's bad. It's Real bad. Pollard and Gibbs against White and Sanders. That's finger licking good. Easily, Michael gets the running back matchup there. Kittle and Hawkinson. Hawkinson's probably going to win this one. Unless Kittle just goes ham. Probably likely that due to the quarterback situation, Michael's going to come out with a victory on this one. And I, even though he's the underdog, I think I'm going to go with Michael. I think Michael just has the better opportunity. But man, those receivers are scary. That is like going through Boardwalk and Park Place and Monopoly. I do think that it'll be a great matchup of the week, but I do think that uh, Michael is going to come out with the victory there. All right, guys, there you have it. There's week two in the books. Should be a fun Sunday. I think that this season is going to be very up and down. I think if anything, the injuries are just insane, and I think they're just going to continue. It's going to be an injury roulette every week. Last man standing. So I think anybody has the opportunity at this point. I really like uh, where our league is at. I think everybody's really enjoying it, and I think it's as competitive as ever. So enjoy Sunday. Enjoy football. For Turfy Week 2, Andy P. Scott, your co-assistant to the regional commish, signing out. Peace. And the game's over, seconds later.